we're live, we're live, we're live. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm with Lily here. <laughs> I made to get up really early. And Lila is in bed asleep, so we've got about 20 minutes. But I promised you that I would take you through the range this morning for those ladies who live in America. Good morning. And Australia, who are still up, because we went back an hour, so it's an hour later for you. So good evening. <laughs> um, and... Oh, <coughs> let me have a sip of coffee because I'm like a girl. Mm. I'll tell you something in life. I was very nervous and excited by some coverage today in the paper, but I got the cover of a magazine, so isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> and that's what hair and makeup does because look, look at me first thing in the morning. But um, I just, I was very chuffed by that. You can read details of my life in that and lots of stuff about everything. But let's start now. I want to, oh, I want to start with some products, Lily, and I feel I brought them down. Let me just start with three things that I bought, which I love, and I'm just going to bring them here. You know how much I talk, I'm gonna start with somebody else for me. You know how much I talk about Andalou, who I really like? Um, and I found two more things that I want to use from them and I'm just going to tell you a cleansing milk and Lua this organic brand and they um, have the they have the sugar mask and the pumpkin and glycolic mask and they're a really good price um, and then lemongrass now I just want to talk to you about that yes I forgot Dr. Hauschka's quince day cream it's such a nice moisturizer but I'm going to talk about two other things too I met lovely Nadine Baggett um, and she is the um, beauty editor on Hello. But she said, try Neostrata's eye cream, because you know how I all, always say I hardly use eye cream, apart from cosmetics, um, Opti Eye Crystal. But I tried this, I've only tried it for the weekend, since Thursday, but I love the texture. It's very, very smooth, and it's got great skincare properties, which I will go into later. Many of you have asked about the blog. We're going to be doing things uh, for the moment on YouTube, all our Facebook lives, and then we're going to be doing, um, the blog will be incorporated back into Trinity London, but there's only so much we can do <laughs> to launch, and there was so much, Lily, wasn't there? It's that we so had to much, on. So It was much. like, oh my God. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through very briefly, this is an antioxidant serum from Neostrata, and it's, it's great. It's giving my skin a glow, it's got a bit of vitamin C in it. It's not just a vitamin C product, it's got a bit of hyaluronic acid, because you can feel the stickiness, but lovely. And then I'm going to have a tiny bit of day cream, very light day cream, because I'm going to go on to our BFF. So, there we go. Tiny bit here. Um, Dr. Hauschka is a company, you know how much I love it. A German organic brand, they started in the 30s, and they have really stuck to their roots. I don't think any of their ingredients has cha have changed. And it's a very, very, very light day cream. And when I use my products, that's all I need, a light day cream. So, here we are. This is so exciting for me to show you everything. Is anyone there we should say hello to, Lily? There's lots of people. Teresa from New Zealand. Hello, Teresa. Lauda, who has just ordered things. Judy from Melbourne. Hello, hello, Judy. I want to give a shout out to everyone, but I don't have... Lily's is holding the phone because we had a problem with the Wi-Fi, so we couldn't be in the bathroom, so we're downstairs here. Technical Sunday morning pitches. Um, and a lot of people are saying happy birthday to Lila. Oh, God, you're <laughs> so sweet. She will love that. She's like, so it's all about me, Mama, and I have to, you know what it's like with daughters. I was thinking, it's now 8 o'clock in London, but it's really only 7 a.m., so I hope she'll be asleep for another half an hour, but I must rush back. Um, and get her presence organized and do things. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my BFF and I'm gonna talk you through what BFF is. So, where are we? I can't read here. There we go, let me just get that lattice. <laughs> and there's another one, what one's that? That's lattice. So BFF is something I put on before I put anything else on. And it is a beautiful product. It's like when you don't want foundation, but you want your skin to wake up. And it has in it some key ingredients. It's the one thing which is going into skincare for me. But I wanted something that you put on your skin and your skin would just change color. It, the product changes to the color of your skin. So you can see that just changes to my color. Um, and if I was to, this is medium that I take. I'm gonna show you light. I don't know if there's anything left in there. No, there's nothing left in there. People in the office have been at it. Um, but 
This is, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll put them, I'll put them on, I'll put them on. So, <laughs> SPF 30, really important, even if it's winter. Um, I rub it in just like it's a moisturiser. It has extract of porcelain flour in it, which reduces redness. And so I put that around areas I'm a little bit red and I just rub it in. I can be anywhere doing this on a train. I just know it's going to be the colour that is the right colour for me. And when you do your match to me online, uh, you will get in your results your BFF colour that you should wear. And there is a colour for everybody. Because we have a few people asking how they find their matches. How they find their matches. Well, the most important thing is to work out your skin tone. So when you go online, we've done all these videos, and you go into choose your skin. And when you're on that page, there's some really important stuff to remember. Don't look at the lovely lady's hair. Just look at their skin. And it's very easy to think she might be me because I've got dark hair as well. But try and avoid that. And look at the categorization we have. So I am a rosy olive, which means I don't burn straight away in the sun, but I have a little redness to my cheeks. And if I go in the sun with an, without SPF in 25 degrees in London, I won't really burn until about 40 minutes. And I'll bur then burn on sort of the top of my forehead, maybe my nose. Um, so if you feel after you've looked at all the videos that you're still not sure, call us or on Tuesday at 6.30, come to Facebook Live on Trini London, where Shasha, all right Shasha, um, <laughs> is going to be there, and I might be there for the first one too. And you can come in with your face. You know how we always want to do this thing on Facebook where you come in and, and you show us your face. You have to have no makeup on, and we will then help you to um, diagnose yourself. But once you've done that, you then go through and all the products that are right for you are shown. And then when you travel, ac traverse across the site, everything is just your match to me colors. So wherever the colors are, just above it goes your match to me choices. And if you want to see all of the choices, you can click hit all. But if you go around seeing with your match to me, everything there will really be good on you. And you just have to trust us that Shasha and I have made over maybe about 650 women to come up with this algorithm. And it's sort of based on us over, you know, 18 years of working together and probably working with about 5,000 women when we were doing our makeover shows that um, we've made these assumptions. So there's a lot of hand work in there and there's a lot of machine work in there. So I've got my, I've got my, um, BFF on, let me just look in the mirror. You can do it all without a mirror, but I'm just gonna show you. It's just given a glow to my face and I feel I'm awake. So I could just do that if I wasn't wanting to, uh, you know, do a full on look. But I'm gonna show you some foundations because the foundation is really different and interesting from anything you've used before. Before you move on, a yes. couple of people are asking, is it okay to daily use a face cream before you use your BFF? Yes, now let's talk about skin. If you have a very oily skin, you could literally use your serum and then the BFF because there are hydrating properties in it. An extract of porcelain flour is great. It's also got a, um, a, a little um, angularus. Oh, I'm gonna, my Sunday morning got messed up. But there's a natural hydrocortisone in it, which redu reduces inflammation and helps boost collagen. So if you are oily skinned, it would be enough because I feel my skin is plump. I, in fact, this morning use a tiny bit of moisturizer. My skin is a little bit dry. So anyone with a dry skin, use your normal skincare routine and then put this on, but then you don't need an SPF on top. It's all in one and it's broad spectrum, which means it's really good coverage. Um, is that good? Any other questions on the BFF? Um, not particularly on the BFF, but because you've spoken about matched me, people are asking if they have colored hair, what yes. they should do. You go with the hair that you have. Don't go with the hair. I mean, if I went with the hair that I think is under here, it would probably be 70% gray. Um, so you've got to go with what frames your face because the way we've made the analysis is the hair that you've got on right now. Um, and hopefully in the future, when we have communities of women, we're gonna put them into all these categories. So if you're thinking I have blonde hair and want to dye it black, you can begin to see women with exactly your skin, hair and eye and see how it looks, but go with the hair you have on your head today. Okay. Um, just a touch is called just a touch for a reason. It comes in one of our little pots that lasts me. It's lasted me nine months. I mean, one of the one I've been testing, 
It lasts so long because you need so little. But the most important thing is, if you do your match to me, you get the right shade. So I'm gonna show you how well it covers. So if I look here, I'm a little bit red around there. So I just put it on like that. And this is why it's so important to use fingers because you want to feel your skin. So I blend that in and I just feel it covered, but it doesn't cover my skin. It just covers my minor imperfections. I want to still see women's skin. So that's literally done one side of my face. I do another little dab. And a couple of people have asked if you could put this on your arm as well so that they can see a swatch of it. Yes, I will put it on my arm as well. I will. So you want, so some of you might be thinking, am I Trintron? So I'll show you. Um, I can show you all the colors if you like. Okay, so I'd literally put it like that. So here we have the colors. Now we start the lightest is Bambi. And Bambi is, Lily, are you Bambi or Clara? I'm Clara. You're Clara, okay. Yes. So Lily, who's um, Lily White. <laughs> but that's, um, let me just put that on here. That is how pale the palest is. And that would really go for a porcelain skin and a pale, pale tone skin. Um, and if I put it here, you can see there, it's just, um, I'm gonna put it on this side. Then this one next up, which is the one that um, Lily takes, is called Clara, and that's more pale pink toned skin. Um, the next one up is Lily, which Lily <laughs> doesn't take, unfortunately. Um, and this has got a little bit more warmth to it, like that. So that's actually good for pale pink tones. And then we have Zandi. They're all named after people, and Zandi is, one of my oldest friends, she's coming today, actually she's coming in from New York because it's Lila's birthday and she's in the taxi now. Um, and it's a kind of, for a really pale olive, can wear that color. Do you see, it's got a slightly different shade to it. So a lot of our colors are not going down in depth of darkness, they're going sideways at occasions because if you do your match to me, you'll notice some of the women either side of you might be wearing the same foundation, but how we describe ourselves as women is how we most understand what to wear. So, for example, below rosy olive is olive, but we both wear Trintron. It's just, I happen to have a little bit of redness. So we didn't want to not have any skin tone in there. Then I'm going up now to um, Yas, which is a little bit darker than my shade. No, that's um, Trintron, that's me. <laughs> um, and then, and as it goes on, then I'm going up to Santa, which is a kind of darker olive. So I'm quite tanned on my arm, and that, if I was a dark olive, you can see it nearly becomes my arm, but this one is the color of my face. That's why I wear Trintron. Um, and then our darker shade, and then they go up, and then our darker shade is Cheryl, which is a really, really lovely old friend of mine, and her daughter, um, well, we were born on the same day, and we expected our children on the same day. It was kind of a really weird thing, and we met many, many years ago doing a shoot. We both didn't reveal we were pregnant, and then we both realized we were both pregnant, and then we both found out we were born on the same day. So amazing coincidence, so she's an incredible woman, and she will never wear foundation. <laughs> but I would persuade her, but she's got beautiful skin. But then if we look here, that's... And somebody's asked, do you have yeah. to use your fingers, or can you use brushes? You know what? You can use whatever you like, all right? We're not saying you have to use your fingers. I think for women who are very used to brushes, moving over to fingers is new, but I'd love to say try it because there is a joy about rubbing in a product so it really rubs in. And I always use a clean finger. I'll have a wet wipe around. We are trying to develop something that goes in a pot and has these little wipes in it. Um, but just, when I'm, you know, when I'm putting it on, let's put it on here, and I rub it in, I can really feel it going in, and using the warmth of your fingers against the natural oils in your skin actually makes a foundation sink in properly and does last you all day long. It's, it's got incredible coverage, it can be very light, and it lasts you all day long. It's a bloody miracle! Okay, <laughs> moving on. I do my face in a certain way, so if I'm gonna, now I'm gonna slowly stack my stack, okay? Because I'll show you my different stacks. So I've got some lids here, and I'm gonna stack my stack as we go. So, one thing you have to know too is, oh, it's so nice to do this with you. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it really, I'm so enjoying to have the pleasure to do this. So, you're, when you buy a BFF, it comes with its own little teapot. So this is what I do, is I take, maybe 20 pumps, which is enough for a week. And because the way this product works, it's in an airtight 
um, pump because when it goes onto your skin, microparticles break and release the color and it oxidizes. So by putting it in here, you need to know it will slowly over a week go a little bit brown on the outside because it's just oxidizing. But by putting it in its little pot and then I take my foundation, there my just a touch, I then am starting to build my stack I can take all day long. So and where I can people buy these from? Oh, you buy them from Trini London. <laughs> so go on to Trini London. It's only online, which is very new for many ladies because you're probably so used to going to a makeup counter and being diagnosed. But sometimes we can be misdiagnosed as a makeup counter. And I think we really just wanted to give you the best choices for the unique person you are, not just based on your skin, but that combination of your skin, hair and eyes. So important to give you that makeup. So... And the people Try. in Australia are wondering how they can get their hands on it. We ship internationally! What I wanted so much, oh my goodness, because so many of you, when I was talking about it, and I was so excited not being able to say much, said, will you ship to Australia? So we do ship, and we had our first person, Lily, who on Thursday, we started on Sunday, on Thursday, she got her order. So it took how long? Four days? Four, yeah. And somebody said it took 48 hours. To Australia? To Australia. Oh my God, how exciting. <laughs> so exciting. Um, okay, I'm going on now to cheekbones. And this product, some of the colours on the site might look weird. And that's okay if you trust us because they're going to do miracles for your skin. One of them is cheekbones. It's Shasha's favourite product. She'll tell you more on Tuesday. But it's this weird grey colour and it comes also for darker skin shades in this dark brown gel colour like that all right so all we want to do is take a little bit mush it together in our fingers and then just starting at your um hairline you just want to bring that color from your hairline down and all you're doing is creating a shadow and that's what we want to do to create cheekbones is just the shadow i don't want to see lots of brown color i want to see as if you've just got such a high cheekbone it's lifted up so much <laughs> And then what a little trick I do, because it happens to be a good shade for me, is I take a little bit on a very busy day and I use it as an eye shade. So I'm just gonna do a tiny bit here. And this is something where people might think, oh my goodness, how do we do that? But look how easy it is to put on and blend like that. And it just gives me a slightly natural eye. 